Hey everyone, it's Alyssa Bryan with Virtual Heights Accounting. We're going to learn how to uh, set up a, a or import your chart of accounts in Zero. So, open up our demo account here. So, uh, this is the demo account. Everything's looking great. If you want to import a chart of accounts or customize your chart of accounts, you're going to go Accounting, and it's going to be under Advanced. You can click up here, Advanced. Those ones are starred favorite items, so that's why they're showing up. Um, and you can go into chart of accounts here. Okay, so as you can see, this one already has a set of chart of accounts already uh, set up for your needs. Um, what you can do though is once you're, if you're new to a file, if you're just setting it up, you can actually delete all of these ones because these are going to be the zero ones that are already kind of set up and customized. And you can just delete them uh, right out of the gate. Um, if you do want to keep some of them, you could leave them and just import any different ones. Just because there's already balances associated in this demo one, I'm going to actually leave them for now, but we can go import. And once you get to the import, you can actually see that over here, there's an example file. And so it's helpful to actually just take a look at that. Chart of accounts, CSV. And this is what that file looks like. So this is the basic ones that kind of zero comes set up with, um, unless you update it. However, if you don't like, maybe you prefer the you know, sales uh, account codes to be 4,000 accounts, or maybe you have already your own structure, you want something different, go ahead and change it here. And it's much easier to kind of change here. You have to obviously have different account codes for each account, but maybe you want to change cost of goods sold to say 3,500 and uh, all your, um, all of your expenses could be just 5,000 accounts maybe. And you're going to just say whatever the last one is plus five, something like that. Um, you know, you could drag and drop that for all your expense codes. Maybe that would be a little different like for the corporate income tax. Accounts receivable again, you could change that. Uh, so you can make any edits you want here. Click save. And then what you're going to do uh, is browse. I also have a couple of standard templates, so I'm just going to use that. And it's going to import that one. And you can say import there. And so that's the easiest way to do it. So you'll see that it'll tell you 34 accounts were deleted or archived, 23 new accounts, nine updated, and confirm. Okay, that will uh, essentially convert this one to how you want it. Um, it doesn't, you'll have to specifically specify that these are bank accounts if you want them to be bank accounts. Um, or, you know, you leave them as current assets. Uh, in this case, I'll leave as current assets and I'll delete on the next one because uh, we're going to set up the, we set up the bank account separately. All right, so I could just have those set up, but uh, these other ones you can just delete as long as there's no balance in there and, and no transaction history. So that is how to set up or import your chart of accounts. Now that it is in here, you can also customize on a per account basis just by clicking in, uh, you know, changing these codes. Maybe you like this to be called amortization instead of depreciation. You want it code 5600 instead of what it was at. All right. And just click save. Uh, it looks like there's already an amortization code. So then you could go through and delete anything that you needed deleting, things like that. Okay. Uh, or in this case, for that one, you might have to delete the amortization account that was created. Does it look like that depreciation code is being used for some capital asset calculations? But you might still change this to amortization and change this to 5,500, say. All right. Okay, so that is how to import chart of accounts and also how to make some edits once you do so. Hope that helps.